tell me a bit about the, the message you were trying to get out there about mental health. I lost my wife, and six weeks before that, I lost my granddaughter. I'm very sorry and to then hear that, about that. And then that comes on, and then COVID comes on top. I don't know, I don't know whether it was meant to be, whether it helped me or not, the lockdown, because I was on my own. You are in a dark place. Um, you, you keep thinking of you, the blame comes, the guilt, the everything comes, you know. I did a show for, for Simon Cowell in England um, and Tanya wanted me to do it, my wife wanted me to do it and it was very much like that week that she had died and I thought how long can I sit in the back garden chain smoking, drinking cups of tea? You've got you to pull your ass out of there, you know. Um, and she would have wanted that. So I spoke to my daughter um, and Tanya's mum and dad, and I, and I went and done um, the X Factor for, for Simon Cowell in Britain. And to be honest, I, I can't, looking back, I can't remember too much about it, but I, it helped me. I think it helped me being around people and. You know, I have this saying, you've got to keep swinging. You know, whatever happens, you know. I mean, you can, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not the knocking down. We can all get knocked down and sit on our ass. It's the getting up and start swinging again is the hard part. So you were depressed. You go through different stages. You know, you go through a, a guilt stage. You go through an argumentative stage. You go through, you know, non-sleeping, non-eating, and all these things are coming and you have this weight and you can't explain it. And it's like you are peeled out your head, you know, doped out your head. You're just like, you've got nothing. You've got nothing. You've got no smile, you've got no conversation. And we're sitting here now, it feels like it was this week. That's the hard part. When is it gonna, when is it gonna re release? I will never forget it. I was walking out, just washed my hands out of golf and the geezer said, um, Vinny, sorry to hear about your wife, and I went, thanks, he said, uh, it don't get no easier, mate. He said, you'll learn to cope with it. He said, I went, oh, thanks. And I walked out of the bathroom. And he was so right. So what is your message to other, other guys who are in a dark place? I would say at some stage, you've got to draw a line and look forward. The biggest thing for me, I think for guys, is the alcohol. I think it's very easy to have a few tins there. Oh, that'll be all right. You know, it will numb it. Well, it's like an anaesthetic, it'll numb it for a little bit, but then it's twice as bad, you know. The pain is there, we all know. You know, if you, if you go in to have a tooth out, you have an anaesthetic, you have the tooth out and you feel great, and all of a sudden that wears off, and now the pain is horrific. And that is what, kind of what mental health is. You, you try and numb it with, whether it's weed or whether it's alcohol, whatever it is, there ain't no substitute for it. You've, you've got you've to get, help you've got to you've got to speak to somebody you've got to look it look at it in the mirror you've got to look see how long you can look at yourself in the mirror you know and saying this is the path i'm doing right now i'm drinking eight or six or ten cans of beer i'm doing this i'm doing that look in the mirror and see if that's the right way to go to ask yourself if that's the right way to go because you know it ain't you know it ain't the right way to go